when god speaks it is accomplished he spoke and the world was formed his word does not return empty it has purpose and it accomplishes its purpose god speaks and it will be what does he want to accomplish he wants us to go out with joy he wants us to walk in peace he wants us to walk in blessing he will accomplish it his word doesn't come back having not accomplished his purposes what else does the lord purpose to abundantly pardon i love that this is what precedes the famous lines about how god's thoughts are not our thoughts and neither are his ways we're encouraged to seek the lord and call on him while he's near and can be found the wicked and unrighteous are told to leave their ways and return to the lord notice the return they were with god to begin with he wants them back they had wandered off it's in the context of the turn from your wicked ways and return to the lord so that the lord can have compassion and abundantly pardon that we're told god's thoughts and ways are not our own we may think that god wouldn't or shouldn't forgive one that has wandered off and neglected their god and his salvation but we know from jesus that god goes after the one that wanders he seeks the one out and brings them back to the flock we may think it unwise to leave ninety-nine sheep unattended to go after the one troublemaker but our thoughts are not his his ways are different god's way is to show compassion and to forgive his thoughts and ways may be different from man's but we should seek to know his thoughts and ways and make them our own he won't think and act our way but we should think and act his <laughs>